Great, I'm sitting here today with Richard, and Richard, you came to me one year and three months ago, and you were having a lot of hip pain from a torn labrum, and you were also having knee pain. You had had uh, some surgeries, and you had a bunch of your meniscus and cartilage removed, so you have what you know I would refer to as surgically induced osteoarthritis. And um, we did one treatment of the bone marrow stem cells with fat stem cells, and injected your hip and your knee, and that was a year and three months ago. Tell me a little bit about what your pain was like before the treatment, and then how you've done this last year and three months. Sure, uh, before the treatment, I was in a lot of pain. So, especially in the hip, for example, anytime I did lifting or yoga, I was feeling the hip catch, and there was there was a good amount of pain there. Uh, the knee for, you know, for over a decade had been giving me problems. Um, I did competitive karate for most of my life, um, and, and that, it was just the knee pain was a reoccurring problem, whatever I was doing. And then we did the treatment, and then how'd you do, uh, how have you done this last year and three months? Following treatment, the, the hip issue has completely disappeared. I had a lot of two different orthopedic surgeons trying to say, look, the only way you're ever going to fix this is with surgery. And I'm, I'm really glad I didn't go that route. Mm -hmm. uh, with the knee, I wish that this type of treatment had been available when I first had the injury back in eighth grade. I think. Mm -hmm. um, would have had a lot less problems over the years. I was really encouraged by how well um, the last injection went, and um, you know, I think this is, you know, for me, it's, this was this was really effective. So the the hip has continued to hold. Your knee it did well for a year, and then just recently it started to come back. That's right. Knee, knee did well okay. for a year. Uh, good and bad thing about life in Park mm -hmm. City is that there are a lot of ways to make your knee unhappy. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah, you've been very active over this last year. Been mountain biking, snowboarding, hiking, that's doing great. yoga, swinging kettlebells, I mean everything. So that's great. Maybe overdoing it a bit. Yeah, that's terrific. Good. Well, if you had to pick a percentage improvement overall, sort of at the pinnacle, what would you say you had? Uh, for the knee specifically or both? Well, both. Just both. Every, sure, the, the, the hip, I'd say 100% approval. Mm -hmm. I'd say the knee, when it, when it was at its peak, probably um, 60 or 70%. Great. That's great. Well, let's do another one today and see if we can get you two or three years relief. Looking forward to it. Super.